Hi, this is Jeff Lillianfeld with the K Grant Group. Uh, we are Scottsdale Realtors that specialize in the Optima Camelview Village. Uh, for those that aren't familiar, Optima Camelview Village is a luxury condominium complex uh, in Old Town Scottsdale. Today we're going to take a look at some of the active listings, uh, some of the recent market trends, and, and what condos are generally going for in the Optima Camel View. So if we take a look here, we can see right now there's a fairly healthy inventory of condos. Uh, we have 14 one-bedroom condos averaging uh, about $359,000, uh, 21 two-bedroom condos. Uh, averaging 567,000 uh, and we actually have 10 three-bedroom condos which is a, a pretty decent number uh, considering just kind of the ratio is to the condos that exist in Optima Camel View. There's definitely far th uh, fewer three bedrooms that have been built than, than one and two bedrooms. Uh, it is important to note that you know what we're looking at here these are all uh, the list price. These are not sold prices. So of course anybody can list a condo at the Optima for whatever they want. Uh, it's a little different story whether or not they sell. Uh, you will see here that we also have a four bedroom condo uh, that's still on the market uh, at $1,450,000. So if we look at the, the average price per square foot, you know, we notice that the, the three bedrooms in general have a, a higher average price per square foot uh, than your two and one bedrooms. And part of the reasoning for this is just that a lot of times the three bedroom condos have been upgraded quite a bit more. Uh, so much more custom cabinetry, floors, uh, some of them even have, you know, uh, jacuzzi jetted tubs is a large master ensuite. So a lot of the, the three bedrooms have been upgraded more, which is part of the reason for that, that higher price per square foot that we see sometimes at the Optima. Uh, let's take a look at, at what's been selling here recently. Um, so if we take a look, let's, let's look by, by bedrooms. Uh, so in August, we, we had five uh, listings close at the Optima, uh, an average sales price of 524000 and these were all two bedrooms. So no one bedrooms or three bedrooms closed in the Optima in, in August of 2016. Uh, but we did have five two-bedroom condos. Uh, and you know a, an average price per square foot of of three ninety nine fifty two, which is uh, a little bit down from what we saw in July of twenty sixteen uh, for the two bedrooms. Uh, but it's it's definitely a little bit up from what we saw in June, uh, as well as is May of twenty sixteen. So you know the the two bedrooms. If we look here for for August. Um, you know, they're, they're doing good. They're, they're holding steady. Obviously July was, was up a little. Um, if we take here, take a look here, we might see if maybe we had a, a couple of outliers and we did. So this is what probably drove this price up. There is a, uh, 1.15 million, uh, two bedroom condo that, that sold in July of, of 2016. Um, so that's gonna, you know, obviously make a, a big difference on, on that. Uh, average sales price. Uh, so that definitely explains kind of what what happened there. Uh, so let's let's kind of look at the the price trends a little bit here. So if we look at a price per square foot, you know we we will notice unfortunately that you know we kind of really topped out at this you know September October uh, time frame and and then even back at, at December here. Um, in, in November, we saw a little bit of a drop, but keeping in mind that this includes all, all condos. Um, so yeah, we see that we have a, a little bit of a downward trend here, um, kind of from where we, we peaked around September and October uh, of 2015, right? So September, we saw three transactions, uh, averaging 493 a square foot. Uh, and then in October, we saw six transactions averaging 483. Now, of course, you know, these can be affected by, by larger condos being sold um, or, you know, higher upgrades. Um, but of course, in December, we we're also, you know, averaging about 453. And then we dropped off a little bit in, in 2016 since then. Uh, and it, it does kind of appear that we're, we're heading back and, you know, towards that, that lower number. Uh, we don't have... 
we don't have the September numbers on here just yet. Uh, but you know, from from looking at it, I, I can tell you that you know for September we're we're down a little bit as well. Uh, you know, our overall transaction count. Uh, you know, we had a. Uh, uh, 11 transactions go through of in June uh, this year so that's that's you know pretty pretty high um, you know we we always see you know that July and August dip off um, you know June generally peaks we can see back in 2015 June peaked with eight and then July and August dropped off to two transactions so here we saw June actually peak with 11 transactions in July and, and August you know down to, to four and, and five respectively so, I mean, what this does tell us is that, you know, condos in the Optima Camel View Village are, you know, certainly moving. Uh, you know, in general, the, the Scottsdale real estate market, you know, including Old Town Scottsdale is, is doing very well uh, right now. But we, we aren't seeing prices rise, at least at, at the Optima. Uh, you know they're they're not falling drastically, but yeah, I, I will say from from watching some of the the listing prices, uh, I've definitely seen that some of the the inventory on the market is is being reduced. Um, you know, at least a couple times per week, I'm I'm receiving notifications of of price reductions. You know, if we look right now, you know, two bedrooms are, are averaging four thirteen a, a square foot as a list price, right? So generally the list price is, is lower than what stuff actually sells for. Um, you know, and in, in August, so we were averaging three, three ninety nine. Um, so, you know, we definitely hope that we, we start to see those, those prices move back in an upward direction. If you have any additional questions, uh, about the Optima Camel View Village or about Old Town Scottsdale condos for sale in general, uh, please, you know, reach out to Andrea Lilienfeld. That's my wife. Uh, she works heavily within this community. Uh, we have three active listings within the Optima Camel View right now. Uh, if you're interested in seeing any of those, we would love to show them to you. Uh, or if you're interested in, in any other Scottsdale condos for sale or North Scottsdale homes for sale. Uh, or, of course, you know, Scottsdale homes for sale in general, please, please really reach out to us. Uh, you can call Andrea at 480-387-3990 uh, and also visit our website at www.k-grant.com. That's K-A-Y-G-R-A-N-T.com. Thanks so much for listening uh, and let us know if there's anything we can do to help with your real estate search.